Hey guys, uh, we just got a 5.1 update today, which is a rather small update, but it fixes some some graphical issues and a few crashes that popped up with the 5.0 update. So, um, so yeah, if you have no issues there, then <laughs> then please update. Uh, although it might not be available to you just yet, but it should be within 24 hours available to everyone, um, just because of slow app store rollouts. And also, this does fix the save game crash. I will say that straight away, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> and also at the end, we, there was there's one addition to the game which didn't quite make it into 5.0, but it did make it into 5.1, so hey, we got an awesome change there, uh, which is kind of small, but but I love it. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'll just go through these notes quickly, and then we'll get to look at something really cool. Uh, so the, the graphical issues, there was just like, so there was a layering problem with the monkey sub and the ring of fire, that's been fixed. There was graphical glitches with mob takedown, the ability, and also just AoE attacks in general, and these issues have been resolved. Uh, tree stump, the map, uh, it had some serious placement problems, and y you couldn't really do it, it was just a mess. That, that's been fixed, so <laughs> that's good there. Uh, there was there was a couple crashes you get from interacting with the Arctic Wind Tower after you've built it. Uh, that should be fixed now too. Um, then we get to the, the save games crash. So save games should no longer crash. Um, where's my high finance? Let me just go in and pray. There we go. <laughs> I didn't crash. Okay, good, good, good. But I don't want to play that right now. Um, so yeah, save game crash is fixed. Um, also, a heli pilot on pursuit will no longer cause the game to crash. Uh, this was pop. It wasn't. It didn't happen every time, but occasionally you'd crash, and you didn't know why. This was related to pursuit on the heli pilot doing some weird stuff. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> so that's been fixed. A um, couple other changes in general. Striker Jones. He, his first time he used his concussive shell every game, only the first time, it would not stun. <laughs> so not a big deal since it cools down super fast, but every time you loaded your save as well, the next time you cast it, it would not stun. That's been resolved, it will stun every time, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Helipilot's Moab shove was not slowing or shoving or stunning Moabs at all. Um, oh, no it was, but it wasn't from the front. You had to like pull your heli over to the side of the Moab or behind them for some reason. Uh, it was weird. <laughs> I don't know why that happened, but that's been fixed. Now, also, this is not really noticed by many people, I think, but on Dark Castle, if you played on Reverse and you had the pre-game prep, pre prep monkey knowledge, your pre-game prep spikes were kind of broken and did not work. Uh, so they should work now. <laughs> uh, and finally, we get to the rather awesome change, and, and I'm going to show this off in a little quick game. Uh, Juggernaut has been kind of buffed, I guess. This is just a rework of its physics system, and it just functions so much better. It's really awesome. <laughs> so if you're on a, if there's a map with a lot of actual blocking objects now, your Juggernaut can really just do amazing work. And I'm just going to turn my knowledge on for this because I want to I want to play Juggernauts only. <laughs> and we're going to do this on Hedge. Um, I'll overwrite that save. Just gonna play just an easy game on hedge just to kind of really show this off and you'll see it real quick. I will use one cash drop just because I wanna start with a juggernaut and I don't wanna use any other towers. Uh, but I'll try not to spend, <laughs> I'll try not to do any more cash drops or any sort of powers but we'll see because Juggernaut can't exactly solo on its own very well, especially on Hedge. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so the reason I chose Hedge is because now, as you'll see, the outside border of this map is a blocking object. So the new and improved physics system will cause all these Juggernaut balls to bounce off the borders of the map, which means they will come back again and they will keep on bouncing around. And they also bounce off the hedges in the middle, which is why I placed it in the middle. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I absolutely love this, and and it looks cool now, but once you start getting a lot of these guys, it is just, it is just so much fun. 
Uh, the, the other map that this works really well on is Cornfield. It probably works the best on Cornfield, honestly. Um, I don't know if there's any other maps where it works this effectively, uh, aside from Hedge and Cornfield, but definitely it, it is a... I, w I would recommend trying to play Juggernauts only on one of these maps. Or at least, if you are trying to beat these maps, then use Juggernauts, because <laughs> it's just fun. I, d I, I haven't looked in to see actually how effective this is, but it's super fun. And fun's the best, right? <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, I already know I love these. I'll just play through a quick game now, uh, see how far I can get. If, if, if I feel like it's interesting, then I might I might go into free play or something, but, but I'm not using farms, so I probably won't get too high. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you around.